It's the year 2006. During this year was a lot of controversies in F1, and one which created a most fuss was about Renault mass damper. What is mass damper and how it works? A tuned mass damper, also known as an active mass damper, AMD, or harmonic absorber, is a device mounted in structures to prevent discomfort, damage, or outright structural failure by vibration. They are most frequently used in power transmission, automobiles, and in buildings. Tuned mass dampers stabilize against violent motion caused by harmonic vibration. The presence of a tuned damper allows the inertia of a great mass to be balanced by a comparatively light weight structural component, such as a heavy concrete block placed in such a way that the block moves in one direction as the building moves in the other, and damping the structure's oscillation. In F1, this technology was first used by the Renault F1, French-based squad in the 2005 Italian Grand Prix and has been raced relatively unnoticed. So, how does stuff work in Renault F1 car? It was invented by Renault engineer Rob Marshall and consists of a mass, usually around 9 kilograms in weight which is suspended between two springs. It sits inside the nose of the car, out of plain sight. Inside the cylinder was a disc sandwiched between two coil springs and the unit was filled with damper oil. The car body, body might be kept reasonably stable but the downforce it produces has to act through the four tire contact patches. Always changing ride high because of road irregularities, dive and squat, is causing always changing level of downforce, and because of that, level of grip. This will make the car harder to drive and slightly slower that it would otherwise be. The mass damper is a device designed to even out those fluctuations and to stabilize ride high and down force. This will maintain front end ride high and level of grip by pulling the nose down every time it passes over a curb or a bump in a corner. Because of that, Renault R26 uses the tire contact patch much better and it also benefits on the aero side as the front end of the car is less pitching and more stable. Unfortunately, over the winter break a few engineers left Renault and took the technology to other teams. Rob Marshall, then inventor, for example went to Red Bull where the system was applied to the RB2. After the French Grand Prix 2006, the sport's governing body decided it was illegal and ordered all teams which used it to remove it from their cars. It was McLaren who started to point the finger in the direction of this problem as they had tried such a system in two tests but could not make it work properly. In 2006 Ferrari, Red Bull, Toro Rosso and Midland MF1 all followed the same path and Honda and McLaren were still only testing it. Renault and Ferrari then transferred the principle to the rear of the car as well. At Hockenheim, Honda wanted to run a system with one mass damper in the nose and one other in the tank area, but 13 days prior to the race the FIA banned the concept with the argument that it is a movable aerodynamic device. This action was a bit strange, because the FIA could have been aware of this argument already season before, and at the start of the season 2006, when they allowed various teams to use it. They were afraid that other teams would develop these concepts into something extreme. One team for example was asking whether they could try a 30 kg mass damper oscillating not only in a vertical but also horizontal and diagonal direction. For those who are able to set the system up in the right way, it was an advantage. 